So let's do, uh, let's do blood chemistry. We've had a lot of fun with this in our office. We, we, do, we, we, we do before and after blood tests. We have a big blood test called bioassay that checks for 60 items at one time. When I opened up my office, we, we checked 12 items. And then down through the years, we kept adding, adding, adding. adding. Now we're up to 60 things we check at one time. It's called a bioassay. It's a combination of tests I put together myself. We recommend we, to the patients that they do it once a year. I do it on myself once a year. When you put the test side by side a year later, you can see patterns. You can see tendencies. Uh, you can nip things in the bud before they get serious. But the shortcut I'm about to show you, uh, we, we would draw the blood like five minutes apart and it would change. Blood sugar would drop, cholesterol would drop, uric acid would drop, five minutes apart. That's how fast it works. You might say, how is that possible? <laughs> In the um, psychological world, they have uh, a condition of multiple personalities. There was a famous movie called The Three Faces of Eve that brought that out in the public for the first time. Uh, that was a big, big deal. Nowadays, they find much worse cases than that. 12, 15 different personalities. Why am I bringing that up? Because one of the personalities can have diabetes, and when they and you can prove that by the blood test. Then, when they switch to a different personality, you can repeat the blood test, and the blood sugar is normal. Uncanny how, how that can happen, but it just shows you the power of the psychic over the physical body. I think we covered this in shortcuts one: the, the pecking order, or uh, the five most important things that affect the health of the physical body in reverse order. The food you eat, the exercise you get, the water you drink, the air you breathe, and number one is the thoughts you think. Everyone up above is more powerful than anyone below. Which means you can do every single thing right, diet-wise, exercise-wise, water-wise, air-wise, but if your thoughts are corrupted by anger, fear, trepidation, uh, everything else goes down the drain. So the, the things you do psychological uh, pay big, big dividends. And so, so we have a yardstick here to, to show uh, the before and after. As you know, there are doctors out there who practice uh, psychologically only. There are doctors out there who practice, uh, like a psychiatrist, there are doctors out there who practice structural only, maybe a chiropractor. There are doctors out there who practice chemical only. Some of them are called nutritionists, and some of them are called medical doctors who write prescriptions. <laughs> and all three of those guys get results. But how do you get better results? You, you do all three at one time. And you ask the body, do you want something structurally done? Do you want something nutritionally done? Do you want something psychologically done? So as a good kinesiologist, you can cover all three of those. And you should, you should be able to get three times the results. Anybody want to volunteer for blood chemistry? No, we're, we're not going to do before and after blood tests here because we don't have the equipment to, to, to test it. But I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a pretty simple thing once you know it. So far, um, you know, I'm, for, for the shortcut for ch chakras is, 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 is I touch an SP21 on the left. That was in course one. But now this time, we're going to have her touch SP21. Okay, now you're going to touch it over here. Let's see, let's see if, make sure this is strong. Oops. So if you ever get 
fuzzy results, you're not quite sure, was that strong, was that weak, go to the muscle you can't fool, the quadriceps. The strongest muscle in the body. That's normal. North Pole of the magnet turns it on. But this is the muscle to use if you're, if you're not sure about the other test muscle. Because this muscle you can't fool. Now, do this one. And that means she doesn't have it. Meaning she, you don't need blood chemistry done, is what that means. Okay, so let's have another volunteer. So what you just saw me do just then, that's, that's a good ace in the hole that you can rely on. Anytime you're not sure, or you think it's changing on you, go to the quadriceps. Okay, and she's gonna to touch SB21. Ah, it shows. Touch this one. Okay, it shows on the left. Now, that means she could use blood chemistry. Now what you gotta find out is which acupuncture point cancels that out. It's gonna be K27 on the left or the right. You, you don't know which one it is, so therefore, you're gonna check both of them. Okay, so let's go to K27 on the left. And let's go to K27 on the right. Okay, the right cancels it out. Whichever one cancels it out, those, now you've narrowed it down to two points. SP21 on the left, K27 on the right, you gotta tap those two together. And this is all we did in between the two blood tests. Tap the K27 that canceled out the SP21. And of course you wanna make sure it's gone, that, that you actually made a correction, and it is gone. So this is a case where the patient touches the points, not the testor. And that's all we did in between the two blood tests and dramatic results. Uric acid going down, cholesterol going down, blood sugar going down, triglycerides going down. I've seen triglycerides go down like 200 points. And it just takes a minute to check it. So add that to your armamentarium. And even, even if you're not doing before and after blood tests in your office, I assure you that uh, I assure you when you when you tap those together, you're doing the patient a big service. Any questions on how we did that? Does it have an effect on blood pressure? Answer is yes, but we have some better things this weekend for blood pressure. <laughs> But this, this helps blood pressure, yes, absolutely. You're using a neurological approach to change the blood chemistry. You know, it looks so simple to see me demonstrate it, but if you could actually do the before and after blood test, you would, you, you would become a believer. It's, it's just dramatic, dramatic, dramatic. Manic depressive, um, I would wanna check the uh, physiological switching, I want to check the psychological fitch switching, and I want to check the umbilical reversal. I would do the, all three of those in manic depressive. Remember, umbilical reversal doesn't show under the other two. It has to, umbilical reversal needs a separate test. It doesn't show under physiological or psychological. Technically, it, it is psychological, but it's, it's, it's hidden. It's hidden, yeah. And the, the person is masking it on purpose. <laughs> they don't know that, but they are. They're, they're subconsciously masking it on purpose. That's why we gave you an extra shortcut of going into flexion or extension. Question, how do, you, how do you separate blood chemistry from chakras? The answer is, if she touches SP21, it's blood chemistry. If I touch SP21, it's chakras. Chakras is a challenge, blood chemistry is a therapy localization. That's a good question. So what he said to me was he's, he was checking himself for chakras by going to SP21 on the left. So that's, that's the correct point. And 
Um, <clears throat> sometimes it'll work either way, but we teach the method that works the most consistently. And the most consistent way is SP21 should be challenged by the test store and for chakras, and SP21 on the left should be tested by the patient for blood chemistry. That's more consistent. Some things require the tester to touch, some things require the patient to touch, but when you find something, if you put it in the pause lock, remember the pause lock? If you put the patient in the pause lock, now in pause lock, the testor can now touch everything that used to have require the patient to touch it. So when the summary of that is when the patient is in pause lock, the testor can now do the therapy of localization for the patient. She touches SP21 and she goes weak. So now when she touches it, I put her legs in a pause lock. Now I can touch K27. To, to see which one makes her come back on strong again. Okay. She no longer has to touch K27. But if she was not in pause lock, then she would have to touch her own K27. Okay, as I understand the question is, if you correct the blood chemistry, does that get rid of the personalities that had that blood chemistry problem? And would it take care of all the personalities? The answer is no. Okay. At best, it would take care of the personality that had the blood chemistry off at best. Okay. Would, it, would it fix them all? No. Okay. No, no. In, in diabetes, are, are they able to lower the insulin? The answer is absolutely yes. Now, can they get off insulin completely? Not always. Not always. But can we lower it? Yes. We can lower the insulin every single time. So you're, you're asking me, can we do both? Can, can, can you do the K27, SP21, and, and laser the medication both? Is that, your, is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we, we have them hold the medication and laser, yeah. You could do both, sure. In fact, you could do both safely. Question is, do you have to do it each time? Um, you'd have to do it each time they have a new vial but if, if they laser the vial, you just have to do the vial once. The patient has to hold the vial. That was, of course, one number one, yeah. Can I clear up multiple personality disorders? Sometimes. Do I have a... Uh... <laughs> do I have a... Do I have a... Do I have a guaranteed fix for that? No, I, I don't. I don't.